What's up, everybody? It is I, Omega Nemesis. Yeah. Cool as fuck. Anyways. Um, yeah. Politics are bullshit. I'm, I am totally convinced that politics are bullshit. You know, I've had my suspicions for a while, but now I'm totally convinced that none of this shit fucking matters. Now, where did this... Where did this sudden realization come from? Well, I looked at the last year, and all I can all I can say is that the state of our politics in this country have become a sideshow. We've become a comedy routine. We used to be the power of the world, and we still are a power in the world, but we are no we're nowhere near respected like we used to be. And the state of our media is is 24 hour propaganda breaking news trump said this on twitter ooh like it's it's so infantile and so absurd that we've gotten to this point i'm not bashing the president i'm i'm simply saying that we've gotten so childish and the if you go on any of the news uh, social media sites, you got people arguing, and we we have not progressed as a country. And you know, last year the slogan was "Make America Great Again." I don't feel like America is great again. I think we're more divided than we've ever been, on political lines, on racial lines, and nobody's listening to each other. Nobody cares what the other person has to say. And I'm just kind of taking this all in and realizing how absurd it all is. I, I can't help but laugh, though. Because sometimes um, people take this shit really, really seriously. And I just sit back and I'm like, you, you really think this shit matters? Here's the reality of the situation, guys. There's a bunch of rich people. I call them the federal government. And... They make a bunch of decisions for me, a lot of which I don't even hear about. I mean, I, I can pay attention if I watch C-SPAN 24 hours a day, but I simply don't have the time to do that. Um, and even if I did know about it, I really don't have a say-so. I'm not invited to go sit in at Congress and watch what they do. I'm not, I'm not invited to do that. Yet they're supposed to be my representative? No taxation without representation of Congress. Technically we're represented, but I don't know my congressman. I've never met my congressman. I never shook his hand. It's some rich dude, I'm sure, or some rich woman that I will never meet that I probably have nothing in com uh, common with, making decisions that I think might be right based on political ideology. The dude might say he's a Democrat, but he might be a, he might be a completely red meat Republican. And I voted for him simply because he had a D next to his name. And I have no idea what he's doing in Congress. I have no clue. But I'm supposed to trust him at his word that he's going to work for me? Please. What is this rich dude or rich woman going to do for me? This rich dude or rich woman doesn't give a shit about my problems. They, they simply don't. Unless it's going to get them reelected. And that's the absurdity of it. Is that we keep electing these people. To, to maybe, they might work for us. They might do something for us. But for the most part, meh. They just try to get reelected. They work for their donors. They work for their um, people who contribute the most money to their campaigns. And that's what they work for. Special interest. That's what it's called. And lobbyists. And I think that's one of the biggest problems in, in today's society, well, not society, but today's uh, politics, is that we allow money to back uh, Congress people and, and federal people too. State and federal, I meant. Sorry, guys, I misspoke. Yet, we expect these people to work for us simply because we voted for them. Now, who do you think these people are going to listen to? The people who donated millions of dollars to get them reelected or elected in the first place, or the 
Joe Smo, who works at uh, Foot Locker, who might have voted for him. Come on now. We don't have a voice in this country. And when I realize that this is all nonsense, I can just sit back and laugh at all of it. The decisions are preordained. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. And there's nothing we can do about it. There's simply nothing we can do. The rich rule this country. And we're just... We're just cattle in a big farm. And hopefully we don't get sent to slaughter. Now... I'm not saying that life is all bad and, you know, dreary and shit and, uh, you know, everything's bleak and it's the end of the world and I'm so sad, boo-hoo. You know, I, I'm a realist. I, I, I don't think it's the end of the world, but it's... it. If, if you're someone who gets super, super fired up over politics, and when I say politics, I don't mean social issues. I mean, like, actual policy being made and stuff like that. Please understand, the super rich in this country determine what's going to happen in this country. It's not these Congress people. These Congress people are, are puppets to their corporate donors. You want to know who's really making these laws? It's Walmart. It's Mark Zuckerberg. It's um, the heads of Google. It's the head of Goldman Sachs and Wells Fargo and Chase Bank, Morgan Chase. It's, it's all of these big names that we, and all, all this big money, that back these people. And we're just kind of sitting here thinking, or we would like to think that they're working for us, but they really don't. And we're all just arguing with, you, with each other like it fucking matters. It's all absurd, guys. We don't have a voice. Unless you're super rich in this country, or at least moder moderately rich, you do not have a voice in this country. All of our politicians are bought, even the ones that don't seem like they are bought. So, I'm going to stop talking about politics, because it's all nonsense. It's all distractions and symbolic gestures, and... and people claiming they're going to work for us when really they have no interest in working with us. We saw how corrupt the DNC is. I mean, we, we all saw those emails, and it's not just the DNC. You would be a fool to think just because the DNC is corrupt doesn't mean the GOP is not corrupt. It's a false equivalency. Of course the GOP is corrupt. There's been people on the GOP who have been convicted of uh, corruption. I mean, look at Richard Nixon. And he's not the only one. He was just one that got caught. Now, I don't have evidence to say that everybody in the GOP is crooked, but I would put money on it if it was looked into that most of them would be engaged in some shady behavior. Um, so, all I'm going to say is, guys, don't take politics so seriously. There's, I think we're, for the most part, going to be okay. I think... Things might get shitty, but we're not going to be, we're not going to die. We're not going to all be destitute and go through a great depression. I don't think that's ever going to happen again. I think things, there's things in place to keep that from happening again. But I what I do think is happening is that there's a paradigm shift in this country. And with the, with the age of social media, paradigm shifts are a lot more rapid than they were, like, say, back in the 60s or the 50s. Now, on social issues, social issues are irrelevant. Um, they might be important to the individual, but as the collective, meh. As long as there's no money to be made from it, uh, I, I hate to tell you this, but for the most part, it, it's probably not going to happen in your favor. Um, there's a guy in my home state of Florida, his name's John Morgan, he's a... Uh, He's a uh, lawyer. He owns one of the biggest law firms in the state of Florida. And he's trying to get 
uh, mar medical marijuana passed. Do you think, and this guy is spending millions of dollars on this campaign, if you go on his, uh, on his Facebook page, or I think he probably has a Twitter page too, I don't use Twitter, I think Twitter's stupid, but uh, if you ever, he, he is putting so much money behind marijuana use, medical marijuana, but marijuana use in general. It begs the question, why? Is it just because he wants to smoke medical marijuana? Does he know somebody who needs medical marijuana? And if so, why is he spending so much fucking of his own money? It's because he stands to gain something from it. This, he's not doing this from the kindness of his heart. He would have you believe that. But remember, this guy's a fucking lawyer. Since when do we trust lawyers with anything? That brings up another interesting point. When we elect people in Congress, they're lawyers, businessmen, right? These are usually the people who get elected. Lawyers and businessmen are some of the most dishonest people in the world. Yet we trust them to work for us when they get elected? Some may be better than others, but for the most part, lawyers are professional liars. People that they know are guilty. It is their job to get them off the hook. So you don't think they don't apply those skills when they're running for office? Get that shit out of here. So that's my thoughts on politics, guys. I I just I'm I'm just over it. I I'm I, I'm starting to see right through it, and I'm just not going to talk about politics anymore. I, I mean, even social issues. I think social issues are have become hyperbolic and uh, artificial just to create a stir in the media so they can get more ratings. I don't think a lot of the social issues that we have in this country are really social issues. I think they're just buzzwords and buzz issues to get people talking, to get more people watching the uh, mainstream media, the legacy media, as uh, Sticks and Hexenhammer likes to call it. But I digress, guys. This video is running about 12 minutes. That's pretty good. So, uh, guys, thanks for tuning in about my apathy about politics in this country. Thanks for watching. This is Omega Nemesis signing out.